below there, I have a scripture to share that will really help you in your walk with Christ. Um, it will really help you draw close to God. It's about crying. I just cried a little bit ago. I'm feeling much better. Um, there's this, there's another scripture that I forgot to, let me see. I forgot to look that one up, but it says, God is close to the brokenhearted and crushed in spirit. I think that's in Psalms chapter 34. Um, but this main one that I wanted to share is Ecclesiastes 7.3. Um, it says, sorrow is better than laughter. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You're, when you cry and you let yourself feel that pain instead of suppressing it, there will be healing. Your heart will be made better. God wants us to be broken. There's another scripture in the Bible somewhere. It says, weep and mourn. Let, let your laughter be turned into mourning. Uh, in Matthew, it talks about, blessed are the those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. God wants us to be um, broken and and you know not not like see when you when you have pain on the inside of you and you suppress it and you just go oh I'm fine I'm fine <laughs> and you act ever like you know like everything's okay you just want to keep 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 going and suppressing it and suppressing it there's no healing but when you cry the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And crushed in spirit. I think allowing yourself to cry also requires a degree of humility. Um, you have to, you know, just humble yourself and just don't be so prideful and be like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> You're not, we're not strong. We are, you, well. Or we, you need to be weak so that God can be your strength. Listen to this again. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7.3 Sorrow is better than laughter, for the, by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. I tell you, every, every time I cry, I always feel refreshed afterwards. It's like a supernatural refreshment from the Lord. I feel... Like, before I cried today, I felt so much darkness inside, so much heaviness, so bad. And then when I cried, I can't describe it. It's, it, it's, it's so refreshing. Afterwards, after I cry it out, I feel so much better, so much better. It is the Lord. He is truly close to those that are broken hearted and crushed in spirit. It's his presence. There's some healing that happens when you allow yourself to cry. Um. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about as well as um, sharing this other scripture I've been thinking a lot about little children in this world right now and how dark it is and I'm speaking to myself too. Look, I know God has put it in my heart to do the same thing I'm asking you to do right now. But um you know, what I'm what I wanted to say about little children is that we need to we need to share the gospel with them. 
they are being brainwashed with a bunch of toxic stuff in the mainstream media that most kids listen to on Disney and other, um, you know, the stuff, the stuff out there for kids is so toxic, it's so evil, it's so against the way of holiness and righteousness, it's the, against the way of God, and it promotes witchcraft and spells, sorcery, and all this stuff, and so few people are walking with Christ, I think that we should, um, as Christians, like, if, if you're a Christian, and you're following Christ, and you, you want to serve God in some way, you're not sure how, go find some kids, find some kids in your, where you're living at, or wherever, and just get some Christian children's books, and read it to them. Um, we carry his presence. We carry his love. And when when we minister to kids in that small way, or even just drawing with them or painting with them, when we're, when we're around them, his presence is over them. And they can be drawn to him and you know, ministered to in their little heart and their soul. And you can give them bite-sized scriptures, just one scripture to talk about and think about during your interaction that day with them. This is something God has been putting in my heart to do, and I have been such a failure in it. But I'm trying to be better and not be self-focused. I have I've been so, like, just, you know, wanting to stay inside of my my apartment and you know just stay to myself but that's not what god didn't create us to live for ourselves jesus came to serve others and that's what we're supposed to do and um um i'm working on being less self-focused myself and and getting you know outside of my apartment and going hanging out with me little neighbor friend little 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 kids you know um trying to i just want to recommend the you know that's something you could do that would um really be a blessing to to them you know a lot of these kids have parents that are angry and mean to them and they don't have the tender love that we have that have the holy spirit they don't have the same kind of love and we should minister christ's love to them you know it can really touch their heart and bring god can bring healing to them you know we don't know what they're going through on the inside you know we should think about other people's feelings and not our own it says in the scriptures not to think um on your own things but also think on the things of others and um i fail in in so many ways but i'm trying to be better but um i was looking back on a video before i had the holy spirit before i knew the lord and i knew his word oh man my daughter was six years old and I did not have the same love that I have now. And it's only because of Christ that I have this love. It's his word. It's his spirit in me. His, his teachings. Applying his teachings. Turning from sin which hardens the heart. I did not have the same kind of love. I was not tender with my daughter like I should have been. And I thought I was a good person. But I was not. We just, We just don't even... We can't truly love deeply and and genuinely and like like there's this pure love that you get when you know the Lord that you have that is different than a person who's not born again. It's a different kind of love. I was a, I was not very nice to my daughter. 
and and I thought I was, but. It wasn't. We just, we just don't even know when we're in the darkness. We just don't even see it, you know? We just don't even know, and we think we're such good people, but we're not. I'm so grateful for Christ. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. He died on the cross for your sins. Put your faith in him. We've all done evil. We all fall short of the glory of God. Jesus, t God is a just and gold, holy God, so he has to punish sin. Jesus became sin. He who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Jesus took the punishment for your sin on the cross. Put your faith in the Lord and read the word of God. Call out to him. Ask for forgiveness for your sin. He will reveal himself to you if you truly have a heart for truth. And he will change you. And he'll convict you of sins in your life. And he'll open your eyes to how real evil this really this world really is. It's a very evil world. We just don't see it without the Lord. Um, one, uh, one more scripture to share is, um, Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And then there's one more that is so beautiful. Um, I love it. It's, uh. Proverbs 22, 4 says, By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. I love that. Humility. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. I think the riches it's talking about are not financial riches, but spiritual riches. Like joy. Joy like peace like kindness like love and life that Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life God bless you I hope this video was a blessing to you today go go find some kids to minister to go get some children's books to read to them um, you can find some at thrift stores or buy them on Amazon or ChristianBooks.com. Share the gospel with the kids around you. Share God's love with them. And pray for me to do the same. I'm trying to overcome um, my selfish nature. And go and do the same thing I'm telling you to do. Bye-bye.